Uh, welcome to the uh, Auto Interior Dimension Tool uh, video. You know, if I shift shift a uh, shift day, I, I get a bunch of dimensions, and they dimension to uh, they dimension to the walls, and it's always on the left side of the wall, and it's always on the bottom side of the wall on interior walls. That makes sense to me. All right, yeah. So get rid of those. Those are those are the auto dimensioning tools, and I guess they dimension what outside. Now let's do the interior. Auto interior dimensions. Check that out. They are measuring to the interior face. I gotta stop. Hold on. Um, God, I, I'm gonna stop. Hold on. Okay. Now I just opened up a a metric plan. This is a metric plan, okay? It says metric at the top here. Now watch when I do this in the, these dimensions. Automatic dimensions, okay? Inter automatic interior dimensions. Look at this. This goes to the... That goes to the face. Oh, that's right. But here it doesn't. It, it, it goes... Wait. Yeah, over here it doesn't. It goes to the outside of the wall. And it goes to the outside of the wall over here and not to the inside of the wall here. Yeah, uh, this is a bug in, 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 uh, with the metric plan. Oh, let, let me see. Uh, this is a bug. Uh, and so uh, let, let me put some more uh, walls on the inside here. Bump. Bump. Shift. Uh, do the temp dimensions again. Now, now you're going to ask yourself, why didn't it dimension these rooms right here? And I'll, I'll show you why. Edit, uh, default settings. You go into your auto interior dimensions, and there's something called ah, ten square meters. I think that's pretty. I don't know what what what's what overall. Overall, I don't know. How about if I make this if I make this two? If the room's oh, two square meters, that's one meter by that's three by three. So it's a three by three room, three foot by three foot. If you're talking English, now I now I bet I bet the other rooms will dimension right. There they go. But check this out. Oh, in fact, I, this is this is. I I don't think Glenn recognizes this bug, but I, I think this is a bug. Now, why did it di look? This this is dimensioning to the interior face. I get this. That's what I like. And this is dimension to the interior face and interior face. I like it. 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 But this dimension is not. That dimension is not. Why not? I don't know. This dimension is not. It's a bug. I'm just telling you. I don't care what Glenn says. Hey, look at this one. It's going to the exterior face. It should be going to the interior face. I think. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, look at this, interior face, interior face, but this one here went to one interior face and an exterior face. I mean, I want to know the length of that wall, and I want to know uh, in interior finishes. Now, this is what Glenn says. Glenn says, uh, cha change your default settings, edit. Uh, default settings uh, in te temporary uh, dimensions and locate objects. He says, go to wall dimension layer. Okay. Now I do temp dimensions, but now it's going to the face of the stud. Now it's going to the face of the stud. It, they're all interior dimensions, but it's going to the face of the stud. It's not going to the drywall. It's a bug. I'm telling you, it's a bug in for for metric. It should be going to the well. Oh no! This this makes sense. Go to the interior. Uh, the the uh, I'm dimensioning to the. I'm dimensioning to the um, uh, main layer. And I, I think that I think that makes sense. That makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is what I just said, and that is if I go to Edit Default Settings and uh, Edit this, and I go Surfaces because I want surfaces, not wall dimension layer. I want surfaces, not wall dimension. This is this is no brainer. And now I, I, I do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, now I'm going to try it on, on my plan. 
In fact, in fact, in fact, watch this. Exterior wall. One, two, and I'm not putting brick this time. Okay, I'm not, it's not a brick wall. I think that, are those, is that an exterior wall? Yeah, it's, it's uh, you. Siding, thin, yeah, okay, perfect. We have we have uh, interior walls four and six. They have thin and thick. <laughs> yeah, Aussies. Now see all these dimension right. All of these dimension correctly. Yep. All right. So uh, now I'm going to check out. Now I'm going to check out our plan. Uh, you know the English way or American way. The imperial way. The best way. Oop, better not let uh, Lou hear me say that. Um, you, brick wall. I'm going to change it to brick and see if I had the same problem. Uh, brick four. Same as brick thin in uh, Aussie land. M, over here. Boop, delete. Now, auto dimension. Dimensions correctly. Dimensions correctly. Oh, except this one. I don't know where that one came from. All this other stuff is right, though, isn't it? Yep. Uh, I had just one bad dimension out of all those, and that was this one here where it dimension to the exterior of that wall for some reason. That was weird. Let's try it again. Let's do this. Uh, check all my dimensions. Let's see if I get a bad dimension again. Delete. Boop. Nope. No bad. No bad dimensions. No bad dimensions. They're all interior face of stud, right? Right. Perfect. M. Now, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to bring this back uh, way in like this. And I'll bring this way in like this. Now I do auto, auto dimensions. I got that one bad dimension again, right? I'm 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 seeing if there's only just one, and there is, and that's it right there. It's good dimension to the uh, the brick there. Doesn't make sense. So other, other than that, though, it works pretty good. It's interior dimensions, and that's what it is, and that's what the guy wants. I think it's a gray stove. Uh, that's the end.